go down. He's got enough holes in it to shake a man plumb up. Yeah, I'm all right. It's in your mouth, and the darn sun baked your stuff till it's like a pie crust. Come on, Joe, Dan, get in there. In winter, it's worse. Rain mixes with the alkali dust, and then it's freezing. First thing you know, it's a darn solid, a fella has to undress with a chisel. Come on. Matt, I'm giving considerable thought to getting in another line of work. Ah, oh, you've been giving considerable thought to that for the past 20 years, Sam. Ever since you've been driving on this run. One of these days, I'm going to do it. Yeah. You hear something? Like a shot. Let's get rolling. This is hold up time. Senors, but I knew where I was shooting. Figured it hurt you as a road agent. So what are you doing well out here on foot? My, my poor horse. One of his legs is hurt. Maybe you could look at it. Our job's to keep this stagecoach on time. Not going around looking at no lame horse. But he is hurt so I can't ride him. 
Show me your horse, Elvis. Matt. Could be an ambush. Better leave your rifle and six gun here. So it would be all right now. Well, he's got a broke leg. There's anything you can do for him. I understand, son. You know it was broke, but you just didn't have the heart. I'll tell you what, you take your rigging on back to the coach. Go on. That's it. in this country. Well, I didn't say you did. I was just asking. He fell with me. Must have stepped in a hole. Well, a man can run a lot of risks taking shortcuts on the desert. No. No, there was a trail. Is everybody? Hey, that was made by a bullet. Looks like the northbound got shot up. Howdy, Fred. Yeah, who did? They must have got winning with a payroll run. To get the money? No, Sheriff Harris is riding extra guard with Ed Stewart. They made a run for it. Either one of you fellows ever pulled for a bullet? Who's hurt? Ed Stewart. And if something ain't done for him quick, he ain't gonna live. Thanks. I ain't no doc. I've seen men die because a thing like this wasn't done right. You'll die if that bullet isn't extracted. Want me to do it? Maybe you better, Mr. Jefferson. You haven't known that as long as I have. Is there any whiskey? I'll to drop in the station, Mr. Harris. Company don't permit it. Well, uh, I got some, Mr. Harris. I, I don't drink on the job. I just carry this and have a case of an emergency. Listen, Ed. Can you hear me? We have to go after that bullet. Sure, Dan. May hurt a lot. No one will mind if you holler. Here. Drinks are in the house. Better get on the outside of all you can. <laughs> that whiskey hasn't had time to take much effect. A couple of your fellas better hold him down. Thank you. 
bandage. <clears throat> Back to you, help. Bill, Matt, Dan. That Mr. Jackson's a pretty cool customer. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw him before today. I'm sure glad he was a passenger on this trip. Sam, I want you to push on through to Stockdale as soon as you get your horses changed. Tell Doc Saunders about Ed, then get to my deputy. Tell him I want him here as soon as he can make it. Yeah. How many outlaws you figure you got to go looking for? Two. There was three, but one of them got it. You better let your passenger know he won't be staying over for supper. Well, he ain't exactly a passenger, Sheriff. We we just picked him up a few miles back. Yeah, his horse broke his leg. I had to shoot it for him. Where'd you say he was from? Well, he didn't say. His stuff on the coach? Well, he's got a saddle and a rifle in there. Unload him. He's staying here. Okay, I'll put him in a shed. What's your name? Juan Morales. Where are you from, Morales? I grew up in Arizona, senor. I'm Spanish. I, I was traveling around looking for work. Now don't tell me, Arizona. What town are you from? Tucson. Bill. You think he could be one of the gang that tried to haul us up? I don't know, Dan. They wore the same kind of mixed clothes, but I never got a good look at any of them. What about you, Mr. Jefferson? There's something familiar about him. Can't say for sure. Why accuse me? I was in the other direction from that holdup. I knew nothing of it until I came here. Tell them. You saw my horse had a broken leg. Give me my gun, senor. You'll get it after I check on you, maybe. Who are you to treat me as a criminal when I've done nothing wrong? You give me trouble and I'll lock you up. Sam and me are ready to shove off, Dan. Help move that into a small room first. You look hungry. I had nothing to eat since this morning. Then sit down, please. Thank you. Yeah, help yourself. Thank you. And don't worry about Harris. He's a sheriff. And all sheriffs are suspicious. Are you paying for my dinner, sheriff? Or am I? I've never seen a mix like you at the price of a meal yet. And it's working good enough for your kind. Where did you last all the job? I've worked in many places. When was the last time? Because I'm not working now doesn't make me a criminal. Yeah, you talk too much. I'm sorry I talk too much. I'm sorry I'm not working. I'm sorry my horse broke his leg and had to be shot. I'm sorry if I was spoiling your supper. Where do you think you're going? I don't want to eat your food. Any particular reason for thinking he's one of the gang, sir? Well, I was sure, Mr. Jefferson, I'd have him hogtied instead of running around loose. Anyway, I ain't given any mechs who thinks he's tough the benefit of the doubt. I've met his kind before. Got no use for him. Do you realize it is Prado? Oh, Lordy, honey, how would I know? I ain't got time to tell one man from another. But you can just bet that Sheriff Harris knows his business. Get some water for the dishes. All Oh, you scared me. That's because I'm a desperado. Especially when I'm pumping water. How do you make it work? There's a trick in it. Maybe we should try it a little. No, no. Ah. Water. Sweet and pure. Tell me, who are these people? Their name is Miran. I like her, Betsy. But the man is a dried prune, huh? Yes, they're both unhappy. Do you think I'm a bandit? Do you think I couldn't be one? Your eyes are too kind for a bandit. How can you see my eyes out here? 
I just look me at them during the operation on poor Mr. Stewart. Well, I'm not as soft as I look. No. But your voice is nice. Except when you start to argue with the sheriff. I suppose I should kiss him. Oh, that is very funny. Well, I don't see what he's wondering where I am. Wait. The bucket isn't quite full. What's your name? Chill Palmer. Chill. I like that name. I think I'd better get back. No, wait, please don't go. It's, it's nice to talk to someone who doesn't think I'm a, a bandit. You know, you're pretty. You're on and on, Tom. You don't mean it. No. I've been watching you since I came here. You belong in a, a better place than this. I hope I won't have to stay here all my life. If I weren't in trouble, I, I would... What would you do? It's useless. I am in trouble. No. But you may well find out that, that he's wrong. Never admit he's wrong. Look, I can't be bothered keeping an eye on you all night. I'm locking you up. No, Sheriff. You can't do that. Show me where you want this water to you. Right, sir. In the air, Morales. Now look, I don't want no more trouble than I got already. You'll have bad trouble if you try to lock me in that room. Look, Max, I've run out of patience a long time ago. Young fella, never pays to argue with a man who has a gun. Better do as he says. Finish your supper. Thank you. Sit down. Jefferson is outside. He might come back. Oh, no, he's all right. 
He won't throw the sheriff. The sheriff said if Ed Stewart dies, I'll be murdered. I knew it would be so. Each time you talk to the sheriff, you make it worse. If Stewart dies, he'll hang someone. And he's decided I'm guilty. What can we do? You, you mean you'd help me? I don't want anything to happen to you. I, I've only known you for a few hours. Where would you go? But if I can escape from Harris, it, it doesn't matter. But there is no way to escape from the desert if you don't know the water holes and the trail. I'll find them. I'll find them. And, and when I get to Mexico, I'll, I'll send you some money. And you can pay for the horse. And, and come to me. Look, I'll go with you as far as the pass. I, I can be back before that of us is missed. What then? I'll, I'll 
I'll be safe in Mexico. Well, we can't cross the border because Harris has sent out a description of you. But I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> you probably never have. That's your trouble. You get out of life just what the suckers put into it. If you're mad enough to take it. Now I'm giving you a chance to grow big along with me. You're lying to me. <laughs> you know, I like you, Morales. You show a lot of promise. I'm going to help you in spite of yourself. I don't want your help. Suppose I tell Harris I do remember seeing you at the holdup. Well, I... I could take the, the money and escape with it. Without me, you wouldn't find this country big enough to hide in very long. Forget the border. I'd never make it. Well, we haven't much time. All right. I'll, I'll do what you say. Sheriff. I was thinking I'd live for another day. I'd like to know how you make out with those hold up men. Well, just a minute, this way.
we better separate. Look around these rocks. Mr. Jefferson, the gully I took came out up there. I didn't see a sign of them. Yeah, I guess they slipped out all right. Well, we can't track them tonight. We better get back to the relay station. My deputy's about to. When you go back, you can tell them I forced you to help me. They won't blame you. Oh, I don't care about that. I'm wondering what might happen to you. Don't worry about me, Teal. Because of you, things will be different now. I, I only did what I did because I believe in you. until now. I think I'll go back home. They'll help me across the border. I'll stay in Mexico until this is forgotten. Uh, will you write and let me know? Better than that. I'll come back with a, a carriage and a team of matched horses and steal you.
go get the rifle. Attempt to hold up the stage and hold up. What do you know about that hold up? Loader, shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I said shut up, Loader. Go on, Mex. You know more about that than I do, I think. You don't know who you're talking to. Don't get smart. <laughs> A man who called himself Jefferson. A man who called himself Jefferson stole it from the strong box at Eldorado Relay Station. He gave me a choice of either taking her with me or tipping off Harris that I was getting away. Mr. Jefferson, he's talking about Pike. Why does she come into it? She helped me escape. But she knew nothing about the money. Is that right? Oh, you're going to meet Pike. Foot of Indian Pass. Indian Pass, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Loder and I take the money and we'll meet the boss. Okay? We'll tell Pike you did a good job and you're handing over the money without any trouble at all, all right? Uh, that's right. Now, you two get on your horses and start making tracks. Go on, get! Give Morales his gun. I said, give him back his gun. You two jugheads are going to wish you were welcome if you don't wake up and snap out of it. Morales here turned out to be worth nine of you. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have come out on this field. You know, Morales, I like the way you handled yourself last night. You may be green. But you made these two look pretty sick by comparison. How much money we get, Pike? A good deal. I want to know how much we got. <laughs> You'll find out when I get ready to tank. Now, 
that to move on. What about Shield? What about her? Can she go back now? Go back? Oh, sure. Sure she'd go back. As soon as we get enough leads to make Harris quit. Oh. You understand how it is? Don't you, Pepper? Share now, Pike. Suit me. Hey, wait a minute. How many ways you splitting that? Four. Morales gets Welton's share. He wasn't in on it in the beginning, Pike. He's with us now. Well, that's too bad. I ain't standing for it. One fourth or nothing. Which would it be? Fill up the canteens while you're watering the horses. Pick it up, Morata. It's yours. <laughs> she bothering you? I'm bad. I'm listening. Well, you could see how it looked to her when she saw that money. How did it look to her? When she helped me get away, she, she believed in me. She knew nothing about this. <laughs> Dames are all alike, Morana. I can see you don't know much about women. You've had a little more experience, you'll know how to handle them better. For instance, this. For another thing, a man who can make him do what he says. Don't think she doesn't know what she's doing. If she can make him feel badly, she'll have you tied to her apron string. She looks not like that. Isn't she? Look at her. She's not even giving you the benefit of a doubt. Just like Harris. I, I haven't had a, a chance to explain to her. Well, go ahead. Tell her everything. See what happens. Get away with that. You better guess again. Chill. Chill, it isn't what you think. I wasn't going to meet him. I wasn't going to meet Pike. I was going home. I, I'd have mailed the money to Harris at Stockdale. Just like I said, Pike would have sworn he recognized me at the hold of if I, if I wouldn't help him. No one will believe that. We should not doubt it. I will take the money, Pike.
Wait a minute, Scully. She ain't having no part of you. She leave when she's hungry enough. She don't know it yet. But I can make her eat this slop whether she wanted to or not. Her and her high full of madness. Hey, 
make sure of stopping your play, ain't he, Loder? He ain't never gonna do that again. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. Scully, the both of us could take him. You help me, and I'll see to it you not only get the Mexican share of the money, but Pikes as well. What do you say to that? Huh? I buy that. Pike wants it to ride up ahead. Let's go. You gotta believe me. I didn't know a thing about what Scully was playing. Yeah, all right. Right on my head and keep in sight. I guess there's more of them than we figured. I'd say about six horses. Yeah, let's go.
take your... Why don't you take your wet things off and let them dry by the fire, huh? All right. You can take them off under a blanket and hand them out to me. <laughs> I spread them by the fire to get dry. Shut up, Walter! It's our hero. It's, uh, too bad he ain't more of a man, honey. Mm -hmm. You're the kind of a woman who can use a real man. You know, somebody to look after you. Somebody to take care of you. Somebody to see that you don't catch cold. Mm -hmm. Somebody to see to it that you take your wet clothes off. Let her alone! Fifty on everything. How oh, oh, bad? <laughs> Not that worse. That loader always was a lousy shot. San Francisco, or any one of the towns up north. We might decide to go to Montana. That's the great part about living your own life. You can go where you want to, whenever you want to. There's nobody or nothing holding you back, or keeping you tied down in one place for the rest of your life. Scully and Lauder won't be going anywhere. <laughs> you don't object to that, do you? They'll try to kill us both. Scully was greedy. Loder wanted your girl. Trouble was, neither one of them had what it takes to get what they wanted. Is what they wanted worth killing or, or being killed for? Don't worry about that. If I had run into you sooner, I wouldn't have had to tie in with them. What, what made them the way they were? What makes anyone the way he is? Better get some sleep. We want to get an early start in the morning. She's still sleeping. Let her sleep. 
My plans don't include her anymore. There's nothing Harris can learn from her that'll change anything now. You'd leave her here? <laughs> Why not? She has a horse. She knows the country. You know, first half decent time we get to her. I'm going to show you some real women. <laughs> You're lucky, Morales. There's no always a reason to get rid of them. I'm not going to leave Chio. I'm not taking her with him. You don't have to. I'll stay here. I give you the only break you ever had in your life. I pick you up, take you along, cut you an equal on everything. No woman is worth the trouble to take that boot out of the house. What do you want to get messed up with any of them for? Take them or leave them. Never camp on the same place twice running. Loader knew how to treat him. I might have become like Loader. If you go back and Harris gets hold of you, you'll do 20 years for armed robbery. You can't go back. Now I'm willing to forget the whole thing. Let's drop it. You're going. I'm not going with you, Pike. Give me the money. I'll send it back to Harris. You think I believe that? Hand it over and get on your horse. <laughs> came from right around here. We found Scully. Lucky for you, he wasn't dead. He died a few minutes after we found him. He said you had nothing to do with the hold up of the stage. Too bad you helped him afterwards. He was forced to. Mike said he was scared. He remembered him at the hold up if he didn't. How is that, Stuart? Stuart was beginning to come out of it when I left. Where's Lauder? Dead. Pike killed him. You camped around here? There's eight packages in here. Well, that's all of it. But no matter what the reason, you're an accessory to crime. Fugitives from the law, that's bad business. He didn't plan to meet Pike again. He was going home. And mail the money back to you. 
You wouldn't have tackled Pike up there on the rocks if you were the kind of man I thought you were. Good luck, Keo. I'll explain to Bessie. Uh, you're going to have a lot of riding to do if you and Keel are going to make Stockdale before sunset. I'm grateful you believe in me, Keel. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to all the time. When you stood up to Pike, I knew. It's finished, Juan. I've never been so happy. 